Hello, and welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm Nancy Ruth Dean, a conscious breakup coach helping women with anxious attachment styles heal and grow through their breakups. Today is a video of stop doing these things if you're anxiously attached. If you're anything like me, then you might be classically anxiously attached where you feel like everything you do is coming from that place, which tells me that you might be doing these three things that are hindering your ability to heal through your breakup. The first one is please stop talking to anyone and everyone about your breakup. Why? Because some people are only listening to reply. They're not listening to give you the compassion that you deserve. And then what happens is you get really overwhelmed and then you end up shutting down and feeling really like inadequate and stressing yourself out about where you are during your breakup. And you're probably feeling that because you've given other people kind of full reign into your relationship and your breakup and healing process. And something us anxiously attached people need to do is give ourselves permission to have just a couple, maybe even just one confidant that really gives us what we need, that nurturance, that support, that compassion. So give yourself some time to evaluate like who is really in your corner or more specifically who has capacity for you because we've got a lot of good friends they're really loving they're really on our side but they just may not have capacity for what you need right now number two i want you to stop sending those long text messages to your ex to try to get them to understand your side of things. Sometimes what can happen for us women with anxious attachment styles is we feel very, very deeply misunderstood. And we feel like we need to tell our ex, particularly if they were um, avoidantly or anxiously attached, what they did to us and where they need to take responsibility for what's going on with you. And sometimes we have a tendency to do that a lot. And then we get very little payoff from that. And it only sends us into another spiral of anger, frustration. And I can't believe I just spent the last two years with this person when they don't even get me. So give yourself permission to feel how it is that you're feeling and not necessarily share that with your ex who's not in a place to receive that it is tough when we continuously put ourselves out there again it kind of falls in line with the first point is it takes a lot of courage and energy to send that text message and if we have noticed repeatedly that they just reply with a certain level of defensiveness or they don't reply at all sometimes we just end up getting even more hurt in that process and number three please stop getting mad at yourself I know you're over there wishing that you could just like be over this already and you're annoyed that you're still in like the heartbreak stage of things or you feel like you're still in the same cycle you were in like five or six months ago. Please give yourself permission to be where you're at and stop dwelling at the fact that you feel like you should be farther along than you are. For people with an anxious attachment style, we really use our breakups to heal and grow and do a lot of work. And it's not just going to be this one month intensive process. It might take longer than we expect. And there is no such thing as a an appropriate amount of time to be grieving and healing after a breakup happens, especially if you spent many years with that person or just that relationship. It 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 did something inside of you that you now are using to heal and grow. So you can't create this arbitrary timeline for like where you should be by now. I know you're doing that and you could literally be three weeks into your breakup and still feel that way. So give yourself permission to be where you are and remind yourself that everything that you are doing is it's helping you heal. It's helping you grow. It's helping you to see things. It's so much more clarity. And every day you're moving through your breakup and you're learning something new about yourself. So I try to remind myself too, when I was in that place, because it took me a long time. What I tried to remember was that my breakup was the exact time I needed to take care of myself at the same time as call in a new partner. And I wasn't able to decide like how long that was going to be. All I could control was continuing to let myself be where I was. And sometimes that is just what we need not to go over there and get more advice on how to heal quicker, to hire a coach to heal more quickly. 
And by the way, whenever people are working with me and they're like, Nancy, like, I want to work with you. I need you to help me like get over my breakup more quickly. I'm like, I can help you through your breakup and do the real conscious work to, to better yourself. But I can't, I can't, I can't control your timeline, your healing timeline. You've got to own where you are at because that's what's most important. And the more that we give ourselves that compassion to be where we are and that self-acceptance, the more we'll see that healing comes more naturally and we're not constricting ourselves, right? So I hope that this video has supported you, that you will stop talking to people who may not have capacity for you. Stop sending those long text messages to your ex in hopes to be more understood and instead try to understand yourself and care for yourself in this time. And third, stop banging your head against the wall and wishing that you could be farther along than you are because the reality is you are where you are and you have learned so much and you're going to just continue to learn and grow. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'll see you next time.